Hello, uh, new topic for you this morning. Okay, a nice one. It's a drawing topic, so we'll get away from all the horrible fraction stuff we've been doing. And it's all about shapes. And the topic is called similar shapes. So I've got two sentence starters here, and I'm expecting you to know uh, how to finish those now, but they are sentences that you need to be able to finish in a couple of lessons' time. Okay, after you've had a bit of practice. So two new words for you here we've got the word congruent and we've got the word similar okay so congruent and similar you've probably know heard used similar before i doubt if you've used the word congruent before congruent comes from uh, i think there's no latin word or greek word congrue which means to agree with and what it means in maths two shapes are congruent if they are exactly the same shape and size okay so exactly the same shape and size so that would mean all your angles are the same all the lengths are the same okay now they might be upside down or back to front that doesn't matter but if you've got the exact same shape if you cut it out of a bit of paper it would exactly overlap the other one they are perfect matches shape and size so congruent okay like identical so similar is not the same as that if you think if you describe any objects as similar what you're saying is they've got some things in common but they're not exactly the same okay you've got similar interests to your friends but you're not the same people Okay. You might look similar to a brother or sister, but not look exactly the same. So two shapes are similar if they are the same shape. Okay, so they've got to be the same shape, so triangle or triangle. They've got to have the same angles. So they're the same shape with the same angles, but, and this is the difference, they are different sizes okay so two triangles all the angles match but one is big and one is little okay like a zoomed in version if you like or if you've got um, a big photo that you've ever had blown up to put on the wall it looks exactly the same as the little photo it's just bigger okay it's not been stretched funny you know when you've stretched a photo weird because either everybody gets tall and thin or they get short and wide okay so similar is when you've got exactly the same thing but just made bigger or made smaller and i'm going to add on to there as well so you need to put this in your book so i'm going to change color because this is important all sides have been enlarged now enlarge just means changed size. It doesn't necessarily mean bigger, not in maths. I know in normal life enlarge means make bigger, but it can mean smaller. So all sides have been enlarged with the same scale factor. Okay, so a bit of a boring start for you because you've got to write down some sentences. It'll become clear now when we do some examples and you are going to need a pencil and ruler to do some drawing. So there's going to be a lot of pausing in this video while you do some drawing and working with me. Okay, so moving on. So similar triangles. We're not going to worry too much about congruent because there's some boring rules for that. I don't want to go into that today. So we'll start with similar triangles. So one way you can prove they are the same is to prove they've got the same angles. Remember, we just said that similar shapes have the same angles, but they they could be bigger or smaller than each other. So I've got two triangles here. One of them is obviously bigger than the other one. If I can prove they've got all the same angles, though, I can prove they're similar. So exactly the same apart from their size. So how would you find the missing angle in that triangle? And how would you find the missing angle in that triangle? hopefully you're going to use the 180 degree rule okay angles in a triangle make 180 degrees so 79 and 46 adds up to 125 degrees and 180 take away 125 so I have to do some borrowing here so five five so the missing angle there is 55 degrees 
So if I can prove on this triangle that this one's 46, then I've proved they are similar. So 79 at 55 is 124, sorry, 134. Me not concentrating. 134. And 180, take away 134. I have to do some borrowing again up here. So 6, 4, 0, 46 degrees. Therefore, these triangles are similar. All right, and I can also show you, if I get rid of my work in a second, if I draw the loop around this one and I shrink it down, I can prove to you they are exactly the same. So there you go. The only thing different between these two triangles was the size. Other than that, they're identical. They've got three same angles. So that's one way you can prove shapes are similar, by working out angles and showing they're all the same. Another way of doing it and if you can draw these for me as well, is to prove that the same scale factor was used to enlarge all of the sides. So first of all, we need to go through what a scale factor is. When you enlarge a shape, you don't add centimeters on to make them longer, and you don't take away centimeters to make them smaller. You're only allowed to multiply and divide. So if you're making the shape bigger, you multiply. If you make the shape smaller, you divide. But this is the really important bit. You've got to multiply or divide by the same number for all sides of the shape. And that number that you're multiplying or dividing by is what we call the scale factor. So looking at these two triangles, can you work out what I multiplied by to turn the little one into the big one? And the trick here is to find what's called corresponding sides, so matching sides. So that 5 there matches up with the 10 there, okay? because they're both on the bottom of the triangle. The 3 centimetres there is corresponding with the 6 there. And the 4 is matching up with the 8. And all you've got to do then is work out whether I multiplied by the same number for all three pairs. So if I start by looping those two together, let's do it in blue so it matches. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we multiplied by 2. If I do the 6 and the 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So yeah, we times by 2 for that one. And if I do 8 divided by 4, that's 2. So these triangles are similar because I used the same scale factor. In other words, I doubled every side. Now, if it had gone 2, 2, 3, then that wouldn't be similar and they wouldn't look like each other. So what we can say is these triangles are similar. The scale factor is 2. Okay, you can multiply or divide. If I'd done it the other way around, I could have said it's dividing by 2. But I picked that I would start with the smaller one. So I was working that way. Okay, and that way. But you obviously you can reverse the arrows and it would be dividing and it works just the same. So find your matching sides divide one by the other and you should get what's called the scale factor and if they're all the same then you've proved that the triangles are similar. So what would a question look like in this topic then? So what you'd get is two triangles and you will be told that they are similar so you're not working out whether they are or not you would be told in the question that they are and you've got some missing sides to work out. So pause the video, write the little question a bit at the top and draw the triangles. <coughs> when you're ready, press play and I'll explain how you would answer this question, how you would work out X and Y. So the first thing you have to do is find your matching pairs. So the four matches up with the 12 because they're both on the bottom of the triangle next to this angle here. 
the 3 matches up with the Y and the X matches up with the 18. Now, out of those pairs, which pair have you got both numbers for? Is it the yellow pair, the green pair or the purple pair? It's the purple pair. And so what we do is we divide them. So we would do, so to work out the scale factor, you would do 12 divided by 4. I'd always do the big one divided by the small one because it'll make life easy for you. So that's 3. So in other words, to work out the sides on the big triangle, you have to multiply the small triangle by 3. To work out the sides on the small triangle, you have to divide the big triangle by 3. But 3 is the key number because it's the scale factor. So if I want to work out y, now it's on the big triangle, so it's multiplying. So we would do 3 times 3 equals 9. So this must be 9 centimetres. And then when I want to do the green one, so if I link these up, this time we're working out the smaller triangle, so it's not 18 times 3, because that would make it bigger. It's 18 divided by 3, which is 6, so this must be 6 centimetres. So once you've found your scale factor, all you've got to do then is multiply or divide. It depends on whether you're making it bigger or smaller. Okay. Let's do a couple more. Now this one, I've, I've called it calculate a method and that's because the numbers are not very nice. But after you've drawn it, pause the video if you need a bit of time, match up your sides. So the four matches up with the 10, the three matches up with the Y, and the 15 matches up with the X. Okay, the triangles are the point in the same way, so that's an easy one to match up. Then you've got to get your pair of numbers. So there's no point using 3 and y because they're not both numbers. So I have to use 10 and 4. Don't like that in green. So let's do 10 and 4. So to find the scale factor, you do 10 divided by 4. And this is why you need to calculate because it's not in the 4 times table. So 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. So in this question, we either multiply by 2.5 or divide. So I'll do x first. So remember, x matches up with the 15. Is it bigger than 15 or smaller than 15? So it's on the smaller triangle, so it's smaller, so we divide. So it would be 15 divided by 2.5. You can get your calculator out again for that, or you can do your 2.5 times table, but that comes out as 6. So that must be 6 centimetres. When I do Y then, so Y matches up with 3, they're corresponding. Is it bigger than 3 or smaller? If it's on the bigger triangle, it's bigger. And so we do 3 times 2.5, which is 7.5. Okay, you'd get a calculator if it was nasty numbers with decimals in. Okay. As long as you know how to match up the sides and how to find the scale factor. And to find the scale factor, you just do this divided by that. Do a couple more with you. So here's another non-calculator one. This time I'd like you to pause the video, draw it, but also have a go yourself. See if you can work out X and Y on your own. When you're ready, play the video and I'll go through it as well. Right, matching sides then. So three matches, uh, sorry, six matches up with the 18. The X matches up with the nine. And the Y, oh, that doesn't look good in pink, does it? So the Y goes with the five. So that's how they get paired up. To find the scale factor, I've got to do some dividing. So I can't use the yellow pair because it's got an X in. I can't use the green pair because it's got Y in. So I have to use 18 and 6. So the scale factor, we would do 18 divided by 6, which is 3. So now in this question, we times and divide by 3. So if we do X first, 
Is it multiply or divide? So x is smaller, so it's divide. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this one is 3 centimetres. And then to work out y, y is on the bigger triangle. So 5 times 3 is 15. So this is 15 centimetres. Once you've got your scale factor, it's easy. Just times or divide to make it bigger or smaller. Depends which triangle it's on. And last one for this video then. And this is a bit of a trick one because the triangles are facing opposite ways. So pause the video and draw them. By all means, have a go yourself. Or you can sort of work with me on it. But they're definitely facing the wrong way because if you look at the angle markers, on this one, the single uh, angle is on the left. And on this one, the single arrow is on the right. So this one's sort of pointing left and this one's pointing right. So they're opposite ways around. Now, what difference does that make? So the 10, that matches up with the X. Okay, and the easiest way to explain that is that 10 is between the single and the double and X is between the single and the double. Okay. Six centimetres that's next to the double angle and on the other triangle the three is next to the double so six and three are matching this is because the triangles are facing opposite directions to each other now that must mean then that y and y is next to the single angle matches up with the 4.5 which is also next to the single angle so you have to be really careful when the triangles are the wrong way round to match up the correct sides with each other. Now it's the same as all the other questions. So to find the scale factor, I need a pair of numbers. So the pair of numbers is six and three. So six divided by three is two. So there's our scale factor. If we do X first, if it's bigger, we times. If it's smaller, we divide. X is definitely smaller than 10. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 5 centimetres. And then we work out Y. Y is on the bigger triangle. So we've got 4.5. Are you going to multiply or divide if Y is bigger? You're going to have to multiply. So Y is 9 centimetres. Okay, so in this video then, what have we discussed? Uh, congruent is when they're identical shape and size. Similar is when they're the same shape but different sizes. Then I showed you that you can prove they're similar if they've got the same angles. Or you can prove they're similar if you work out all of the scale factors and they're the same. And then I showed you that if you know the scale factor, you can multiply or divide to work out missing sides on the triangles.